This conference will now be recorded. So this is the in-class problem on going through the first four steps of the trial balance. Submitted. And they don't look right. What? Okay. So the person submitting it, and, and this is a good practice for us because we're looking at what happens if you out of balance. So the problem is submitted and the person says I'm out of balance by $60,000. Okay. So how are we going? So all of y'all got your problems. So you pull out your problems and she's, she's off by $60,000. And so the first the way we're going to check this is we're going to divide that difference by two. Let's divide the difference by two. 30,000. So now I want you all to go through and see where she may have made a mistake. I mean, I can barely see the numbers. Uh, let's see. Let me just download this and see if that would be better. I can see her cash is off though, because cash, once you um added them and subtracted it, the cash should have came to thirty five thousand. Can you see 80. it better now? Yes. Okay. So yeah, see the cash and the cash should have been thirty five thousand. Because your debited on cash would have came to 220, 220,000, and then your credit on cash would have came to 185,000. Once you subtracted that, that would have debited 35,000. But what we're looking at is, I hear what you're saying. When we have an error, what are some strategies to find the error? So one strategy is always to take your difference and assume that you posted something the wrong way. So you divide that difference by two and you get how much? 30, 30,000. So now I want you all to go through the journal, journal entries that you've made and we'll look at hers too and see where 30,000 is to see if we can utilize that to find our error. And so we go through there's a thirty thousand here. Right. So we have a thirty thousand, one thirty thousand. Could this be our error? So let's look at the postings. So we should have debited receivables and credited sales. But when we got to the postings, what happened? She credited receivables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because accounts receivable are supposed to be ten thousand dollars. So, so that's a standard type of thing. You know, you're doing all of these postings, so it's easy for one of those postings to be off. So all I'm showing you is that if you got a if you get a trial balance and you do not balance, well, you know, there are several things that you can do. One of the first things you want to do is to take your difference and divide it by two. Does everybody see that? And then look in the journal entries for that difference of 30,000 and see if that's where our problem is. Another problem would be that What's the normal balance for receivables? It's an asset, so it should have a debit balance, correct? Yes, sir. So that's another thing that we can look at. So I'm giving you strategies because as you take your quizzes and everything and you made your journal and so everything, you know, so this was a good paper. Everything was correct except one posting. So I'm giving you a strategy to correct your postings. And so if we 
eliminated this and we put 10,000 over here, would we be in balance now? If we made that, so all we've done is we've gone to receivables and we said that 30,000 this 30,000 should have been over here. And so the balance instead of being a credit of 50,000 should have been a debit of 10,000. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is to give you ways to when you're not in balance, to look at things that you can do. So if you add these up, how much do we get for the debits and credits now? 455,000. On both sides? Mm-hmm. You say I need some what for a second? So what now? So the first way we correct for an error is always to uh, take the difference. Now, another type of error we might make is that we may put items in here incorrect. So that is, we may transpose the number. So instead of putting accounts payable in at 85,000, Suppose we put accounts payable in at 58,000, okay? So we had it correct, but when we transferred it, we got 58,000. Instead of 85, we got 58. So if I add up the credits, how much will I have now? So we add the credits, how much do we have? $468,000. Is it that much? Yeah, 468. Okay, 468. Okay, so if we take our difference here, what would that be? 13,000. How much? 13,000. Y'all sure about those addings? It was 85 and we corrected the, we, we made the mistake of 58, right? Let me go and see. Clear. How much is it? I'm going out. Okay. 85, but we put it in at 58. So if you add those, how much do you get? I want you to leave me alone. How about that? Yeah, I got 468,000 when I added the 58,000, 240,000, 40,000, and 130,000. Yeah, I got yeah. the same. How much do you have over here on the debit side? Everybody, mm -hmm. did we ever correct that? How much are the debits now? I don't think I corrected that. I got 495,000. Yeah. So what's our difference now? 27,000. Okay. I don't know whose it is. Don't worry about that. That's 
let's do, I'm creating this to look at errors. So you know how to check for, for errors when you're doing your 40 journal entries. And you gotta post them all and be correct. It's 10 or 15, you know, so you just have to be careful. But sometimes you make errors. So we're, I'm not concerned about that. So when you make this, when you change, the, the, you know, the 50 from 85 to 58, and you take your difference. When you made an error like that, if you divide by nine, you get an even number. So we can, if we take a difference and we divide by nine, so what's 27,000 divided by nine? How much? 3,000. 3,000. So if you get an even number, then that that will cause, that will mean that you could have transposed the numbers when you can divide your difference by nine. Now, if there's several mistakes in there, you know, you just, you go through trial and error, check certain things. So all I've done is given you about three strategies today for errors, checking for errors. The first one is take your difference and divide by two and look to see if you post it on the wrong side. The second one was if your difference is divide, divisible by nine, then that means you may have transposed 85 instead of 58. So that's our third, that's our second way. And then our other way was if the receivables is supposed to have a debit balance and it has a credit balance, it does not have its normal correct balance, then you know that there's a problem also. And well, that's a, that could be a source of a problem also. Any questions? So this is going to be very helpful as you're taking your quiz. And if you have, you know, it's a way for you to find the differences. So let's see. Everybody all clear. Now, when I looked in Blackboard, and I looked at my submission, everybody didn't submit. So what we're gonna do about that, Christopher, everybody didn't submit. Um. See if they did it just right now. Maybe let them slide it on in there. Oh. Okay. So when I looked at these, it looked like Dominic was fine, Darius, Crystal. Those were the persons who looked okay. So Dominic, Darius, and Crystal. Okay, so they need a reward, right? Y'all need a reward, correct? Okay, so did you get mine? Mine was submitted at ten o two. I may, I may not have, because if I go in there and. Yeah, it's in there, okay, it's in there, I think, I okay. believe. Could you reopen it just in case the other people didn't send theirs in and I want to send in a new one? Who's speaking now, Raquel? Yeah, that's me. You're here. Okay. Yeah. Can I send it another one? Because I just see how you correct it. 
this one, so I went back and corrected mine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's really good. How you, um, did that. Okay. So it's, yeah, that's going to be a help. So that's you know, like I say, it's you know, just trying to eliminate any frustrations you have. You know, you're going through your work and and you don't balance and you know, you know, you know, with that one, uh, everything was virtually incorrect. Just one thing placed the wrong place. And so sometimes you you know you get frustrated. So that's just a way to try to correct. But you know the thing is to go through and unless the person did okay, I'm off here. But they told up everything. And so you know that you know that it was well done. Now let's see what else we have here. So some people said they were going to form a corporation the day they won a million dollars. This is, you know, your charter, your certificate for formation of a corporation. So it's just, you know, it's a simple thing that you do. And an attorney charges two and three thousand dollars to do this for you. And then when you put your money in the corporation, you get a stock certificate out. And this is an example of what a stock certificate looks like. So hopefully with this information, you know, you can include this with what you're working with, okay? Any questions on that? You know, certificate. So I wasn't planning on you doing a whole lot of work. And then this is a stock certificate. And all you can come on the stock certificate very easily and change it, you know, the things in here. This is a picture right here. And so, you know, you just, so you just lay out, you know, the, the key parts of it, your name and the registered agent is the sort of the person who is contacted to sue you. So when you start a corporation, you have to send in somebody's name. So if the corporation does something wrong, then that person is contacted so that the corporation can be sued. So no, most times uh, that person is the attorney. And then your stock and things like that, par value. So it's not critical, you know, it's not important, but I'll show you number two, one, if you form a corporation, what you have to do. And secondly, if you get a stock certificate, this is what it looks like. Well, I don't plan to form a corporation. What if you plan to have a 401k? What's going to be in your 401k? stocks okay so in your retirement account you know you have stocks so it's just sort of a way to look at that so just, so let's look at that quickly and everything okay so All right, so we're going to move in the, to two groups today. And in one group is going to be Dominique, Darius, and Crystal. Dominique, Darius, and Crystal. Don't y'all like being singing out like that? I'll take it. Okay. Nope. But Dominic, you don't have to then. Nah, come on, I'm being a group. Come on. Okay, so 
I'm going to give you a quiz today since you all already understand this. And you will work the quiz out. You'll still be here, but you just have your speaker down. You'll work it, and then you'll submit it to me you know, by the end of class, hopefully. Then tomorrow, you'll be exempt from class. So tomorrow you'll be exempt from class. Soon you get this correct and you will work on my 40 journal entries. So you're gonna work on my 40 journal entries to go through this tomorrow. But you won't be in class. Does that sound okay? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, Dominique's smiling. Crystal's almost smiling. She has trouble smiling sometimes. She's almost smiling. <laughs> okay. So let me see if I can find a problem for you all to work and I'll put it in assignments. But that way I can concentrate on getting everybody else through rather than just a few people because they're answering and know it. And I'm not working individually with everybody. That's the goal is, you know, is for everybody to pass. And so since they already understand it, I'll pull them out and then we'll just work separately, everybody else on the problem. Okay. Does that sound okay? Yes. So my goal is of course to make sure everybody passes. So that's my goal. And so so let me assign these journal entries to the other people. So Chris, you got the first journal entry. And Kel, you got the second one. I'm just going to put down RJ. Let's see. A phone EO, you got the third journal entry. Uh, Darius, you got the fourth journal entry. And then y'all will, con y will con con continue to do journal entries in that order. So one, two, three, four, then y'all become five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 in that order. So you're doing uh, you're in that same order. So you, you do the first four, then you come back and do the next four, then the third four. So that's how you all be doing it. And so pull your problem up and begin to work on it. And then we're going to complete the entire problem that way. But the journal entries, are we doing like a, um, like the journal entries like we were doing the first week, or are we doing it right. like um, you do okay. yeah, you do it like you were doing the first week. So you're gonna make the journal entry, but then you gotta post it to the ledger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then eventually we're gonna have a trial balance. So we're working this problem in class with all of you all working it. And like I said, to learn this, you know, you just have to do it and uh, and we're just all trying to get there. It's not a race, but I want to make sure everybody passes. And so for me to make sure everybody passes, you know, I'll separate us out, then I can just concentrate on, on you all and make sure you get through. So that's the purpose of it. So begin to work on your journal entry, make your journal entry and post it to the ledger. You got the problem. 
So you do one, two, three, and four, and then you come back up, do five, six, seven, and eight. Then nine, 10, 11, and 12. So Chris has the first one. He has the fifth one. Then he has the ninth one. So it's in that order. So all of you have about three journal entries. I'm doing the journal entry and the quiz or no you are, I'm getting ready to send you all one yeah I'm, I'm going to send you all a quiz to do so no you all have already done this so you're taking your quiz they'll take their quiz tomorrow you're taking your quiz today and then you have a free day tomorrow to work on your 40 journal entries okay all right well you gave me number four Journal entry number four, then eight and twelve. Did, Did I, you mean someone? I meant Thomas. Oh. Thomas. There's Thomas down here in the corner. So I guess I put so that wasn't Darius, that was Thomas. When Tony, it was Thomas. I mean, Darius, you feel like doing it, you can do it too, bro. Okay, for the people who are exempt, what you will send to me today are the first 20 journal entries in the JHJ journal entry problem. So you actually are doing the first journal, 20 journal entries for me. With okay. the um, with the T accounts in the balance sheet as well? Probably, okay. yes. So you're sending me the first 20 journal entries today.
where do you want us to do that in? On the uh, Excel sheet. Okay, just making sure. So what, okay. Okay, starting with Chris, let's go and do, we're just gonna do our first four. Okay, so we're gonna do our first four. So Chris started off. All right, so for the first one, invested 40,000 to start a business. Um, it's gonna, the type is gonna be one. It's going to be uh, cash to common stock, account number 100 for cash, uh, 400 for common stock. So that's debited cash for 40,000 and credited uh, common stock for 40,000. Now let's go through and post it. So it's going to be debited uh, 40,000. Parentheses one. And then down the comment stock, credited 40,000. Okay. And Raquel, Raquel. Raquel. <laughs> Raquel. Yes, my Go dad's name is Roy. Okay, um, so I have number two. It's going to be um, 120 for inventory. What's my type? It's going to be type seven. Okay. For debit 20,000. It's going to be 100 for cash and credit 20,000. Let's see if we can post that. Then go down to um, find inventory. It'll be debit 20,000. For number two. It will be cash for credit, 20,000. For number two. Okay. Okay, Fona. It's Fomona. <laughs> 
for a moment. Yes. <laughs> and um, so it's going to be inventory. Oh, it's going to be type 12. Okay. Inventory account number 120, debited 60,000. And then account number 301, uh, accounts payable, credited 60,000. And um, I didn't do the trial. You didn't post it. I guess I went down. Okay, so this is where you debited for sixty thousand. Mm -hmm. Credit accounts payable. So what is it you didn't do? You didn't post it. No, I didn't post it. Why? I had an orthodontist appointment yesterday, so I missed class. Oh, okay. I missed this part. All right, so let's let's just go show you how simple it is. Okay. It was a debit. If it's a debit in the uh, journal entry, it's going to be a debit in the ledger. If it's a credit, it's going to be a credit in the ledger. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to inventory and put 60000 as a debit. Journal entry three. And then it's going to be accounts payable, credit at 60,000. Mm -hmm. okay. Darius. Oh, that's David. <laughs> David, David. Yes, sir. Okay. Like Dave Thomas, the Wendy's guy. All right. Uh, Say. Cash is going to be uh, What's six, my uh, five. Okay. Then cash is uh, one hundred and sixty thousand. How much? How much do we borrow? 60,000. Yes, sir. They come down to cash and uh, and put down 60,000 for debit. And then uh, parentheses four. And notes payable, which is three fifty, and that's sixty thousand, and that's on the credit. So that's short term, and not just notes payable. Yeah, I'll be a short term note. It doesn't. What, it doesn't what, matter. What qualifies something from short term to um, just regular notes payable? A regular note's gonna be more than a year. But we've just been using that, so let me just put it there. I'll just put it here. But just keep that in mind. Okay, because okay. I put mine up under notes payable. That's fine. Right. Now you know what I want you all to do. What's going on? With these four journal entries and these postings, prepare me a trial balance. So these were the only four transactions you had. Prepare me a trial balance. This is the one that we were supposed to turn in by 10, right? Correct. Oh, I already, I did the trial balance. But I want you to do it differently now. I want you to do it just for the four. Okay. So if we just, if you just have four transactions, I want to know what the trial balance would look like.
Um, to do the trial balance, are we supposed to add up all the um, debits in one account and then all the credits in the same account? Mm -hmm. You get the balance. One number on the trial balance. Okay. That's why we're doing it for four transactions. If you can do it for four, then you should be able to do it for 100. So we're just doing these four we're working on now. That's all you're doing. I want to see the trial balance with four for four journal entries. You can you can prepare a trial balance after one journal entry. Yes. But I just want you to prepare one with four journal entries. You know, I'm a trial balance done. Yes. So everybody has an account. Chris, your account is cash. Raquel, your account is inventory. Now, for Mona, your account is the liabilities, accounts payable, notes payable. And Dave, you have common stock. So everybody got an account they tell me about to put on this trial balance. So Chris, how much cash is going to be on this trial balance? It's going to be debited 80,000.
I got a hundred thousand. Me too. For what? For cash. Uh oh. Let's go up here and see. It's forty plus sixty, so the debits are sixty uh, eighty thousand. I mean a hundred thousand. But then there's a credit over here for twenty thousand. Subtracted. So what? You have to subtract and you'll get eight thousand for debit. So we can you explain that again? Okay, we add up the debits. That's the cash that came in. Then we add up the cash paid out. So it's like your account that you have your cash, you know, your bank account. You got one side where the money comes in and debit, the other side where you pay it out credit then the difference is what you got left in your account. What you put in it versus what you took out. Is that clear? Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So based on that, then the cash is $80,000. What about inventory? Inventory would be um, debit for 80,000. Okay. Inventory has a debit for inventory for 80,000. And what about accounts payable? I put credit for 120,000, 120, but I think that's wrong. Why do you think that's wrong? Um, let me see. I didn't I guess all the six thousand in there. Yeah, I guess that would be a lot. So it looked like it's only sixty thousand in there right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. What about notes payable? Um, another sixty thousand. Okay, so you just had them. Together, okay. So that's sixty thousand. Can I leave them together, or do I need to separate them? Gotta kind of keep them separate. Okay. I mean, just like if you had a ch checking account or a savings account, you, those are separate accounts. And how much is our common stock? Forty thousand for a credit. So when we add all of these up, what do we have? For the, this is one hundred sixty thousand for the credits. Okay, right. how much for the debits? The same thousand is back. Was that hard? No, it was okay. All right, do the next four then. You all will work on these together. I'll give you about 10 minutes. Chris will call that for Mona and David. Five, six, seven, and eight. So y'all work them, post them, and then we're gonna do another trial balance after the eight. So we'll take these balances out, I'll take this out here. So we're going to do another trial balance. So all we're going to do is do four more. And then after we do this next four, we're going to post them to the ledger that we're going to do a trial balance again. So you all have 10 minutes.
Okay, are we ready to knock this next four out? Chris, lead us off. So for uh, number five, pay dividends in the amount of 10,000. What's our type? Type is gonna be 10. What we're gonna debit? Uh, you're gonna debit uh, dividends, 10,000. Um, and you're going to credit cash at 10000 So let's go and post that. I'm sorry to interrupt y'all, but where do you want us to submit this thing that you just told us to? I'll create something for you. Okay. You finish? Okay. Yes. So we're going to go to dividends and debit it, correct? Correct. Great. And what are we going to credit? Cash. Now we're going to credit cash. 10,000. Of course, we don't have this anymore since we're moving on. Okay, next. Okay, I have number six. It's going to be the type will be seven. Okay. For 200 land and 25, 20, how can I talk today? You bought 200,000 land. Paying fifty thousand down. Yes. Okay. So we need two hundred and fifty thousand in here for the land. Yes. We pay fifty thousand down. So it's gonna go to credit for fifty thousand. That's a seven. But we created a note for the other two hundred. Mm -hmm. That's a twelve. So when you have three accounts like this, you're going to have two types typically. Okay. So this is the seven, this is the 12. So let's go and post it. So we're going to go to land. And what's going to be? 250,000 for debit. And this was transaction six, correct? Yes. Then we're going over here to notes payable since we're here. And, and there'll be 200,000 for credit. And then we got to do what? Go to um, cash, you'll be 50,000 for credit. Okay, so what do we have next? We have, um, it is the problem says. Pay sales salaries expense of forty thousand dollars. It is going to be type 
nine and um the account number is six ten sales salary expense debited forty thousand and account number one hundred for cash credited forty thousand okay now and on the T account, we're going to put 40000 under credit and on the cash side. Mm -hmm. Credit. And what we're going to debit? Um, advertising expense. Uh, this says sales hours. Oh, I'm sorry, not advertising expense. Um, sales Wait. salary expense. This is going to be number seven. What do we have for number eight? For the account type is uh, nine. Another nine, what? Uh, six eleven for advertisement, that's 20,000. Then cash is uh, 20,000. So we're gonna go in here to the T account. Then under um, advertisement is 20,000 for a debit. Um, parentheses eight. Okay, so we go down to advertising expense. Yes, sir. And our amount was how much? Uh, twenty thousand. And what else we're gonna do? Go to cash and uh credit it twenty thousand. Okay. So now with eight transactions, prepare me a trial balance.
Dominique, that tab should be in now. Okay. We have a new trial balance yet?
Do we have that trial balance yet? Yes, I have um, land. How much you got in land? It'll be debit for 250000 Chris, how much you got in cash now? Cash is going to be credit 40000 The revenue yet, so forty thousand. How much is we don't have a receivables? How much is inventory still? Eighty thousand. What's accounts payable? Sixty thousand. What's notes payable now? Sixty thousand. Wait a minute. Sixty plus two hundred is two sixty, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Common stock is still what? Forty thousand. Okay. Dividends. Ten thousand. Sales salary expense. Forty thousand. Oh, yeah. Advertising expense. Twenty thousand. So we add up our total debits. What do we get? We didn't put anything for sales. Do we have any sales yet? A hundred thousand. Oh, okay. Sales. Yeah, but we don't. Man, I ain't seen no sales yet. We ain't gotten to the sales yet. So we don't have any sales yet. Confirm. Carry the So we add up our total debits. What do we get? Four hundred thousand. All right. And we add up our total credits. What do we get? Fine. Now is that that bad? Any questions? All right, it's John's job now to do those final five and when you're on and submit that. So you have all 13 of them done at that point. Zalandra and Sam, where y'all been? Promise that, where y'all been? I sent you an email on my poor internet connection. Um, okay. Are we, this is the exam? This is homework. We went over the homework. And so your job now is to get all that homework done and submit it. Uh, the homework from this morning. 
Mm-hmm. We've gone over it. Okay. So we're re- you resubmitting it? Yeah, are we? If you submitted it correct the first time, fine, I'll have to, I'll put in another link for it. Okay. Can you review some of mine correctly? Can I do what now? Review some of just like a couple of mine. Just scan over it. Okay. Yeah, I submitted mine this morning also. I'm going, I'll put in a new link. So. Oh, uh, we did. So, Landry, you may want to try this. You too, Sam. Just do the first four journal entries and make a trial balance. These were the. So, we let's look at this first one debit, cash, and credit common stock. That's the journal entry. We're going to post it in these accounts the same way. If it's a debit in the journal, it's a debit in the ledger, the T accounts, and it's a credit, it's a credit in the T accounts. And what we're trying to do is to find out how much is in each account. So on transaction one, when we posted it, notice our posting reference, uh, debit cash 40,000, and we credited common stock 40,000. So what we're gonna do is this, I guess. For Zalandra and Sam, we're going to start back over. So I'm going to put a link in for the other homework folks. And you all are going to go ahead and submit. Then for uh, Zalandra and Sam, we're going to start back over again and do the first four. So Zalandra, you have the first two journal entries. Sam, you have the second two. And what we want to do is to do four journal entries and then do a trial and balance. So assume that the problem has only four journal entries. So we have just four journal entries. Then I want you to prepare a trial and balance with just four journal entries. So we're going to start the problem all the way back over for you all. Let me put this link in for so Zalandra, you got the first two journal entries. Sam, you got the second two. So I'm gonna put this link in and we're gonna come back and rework it again.
So the new link that you just posted for the in class, that's the one that we're gonna post. Um, we're gonna turn in just the four. No, you're gonna turn it on 12 eventually. We working on four together now, the first four together now. Okay, how do I um, just have the- Yeah, say so what now? How do I just click? Cause it's popping up the one I did. So how do I just do a uh, find one that's um that's blank? Okay, so you need to find one that's blank. Okay. That was in class journal entry problem. Okay. So let me see if I can put it on the new one. See if you can pull it up now. I got it. Um, I'll get started on. Okay. So, I'm give you all about three minutes, four, four minutes. So, Landra, you have the first two. Sam, you have the second two. Okay. Make the journal entries and post them to the ledger. So if we already submitted the assignment before it was due or like before 10, would we have to submit it again or are we just cool with where, where we submitted already? Well, unless you submit it correct, I want you to resubmit it. And of course you all have you all's quiz on this tomorrow. So you will have an in-class quiz on this tomorrow. Gosh. So it's best to work on it and get it correct now. You have a quiz that will look similar to that. 